Hello Commanders and welcome to a new episode of the Rise of the Ottoman Empire series as today we are going to continue our campaign and we are going to take a road to the capital Warsaw or Warsaw. Of course, the Ottoman Empire now is well equipped to start the invasion on Poland, the invasion that we called the Warsaw Maneuver. Also, we are going to focus here on some economics and the choice of units that we are going to build. Our AWACS, they are guarding our borders with the Asians and I sense the presence of some units there. 100% these are few raiders, they are also uh, controlling their borders with me. So I do not trust them and they do not trust me. And basically we are in a cold war me and the, uh, the Asians because they know that I might attack them at any moment and I also know that they might attack me at any moment. The production of our multiple rocket launchers is underway. We have the stealth technology, the attack helicopters, as I said, now we are going to push forward for more elite units. Our uh, air security fighters, they are scouting the Polish cities there. Now it's about time to go and uh, see what is there in Warsaw. Looks like, ah yeah, this is, uh, this is Romania has declared war on France and he is taking his lands, he is eating them. Like, basically, yeah. He is only at war with France. First one now is the United Kingdom, second is Romania, and third is us, the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Navy is sailing to the Baltic Sea, of course, because uh, in uh, Gdansk, Poland has a naval base, and they do not really want to find some navies there. In order to eliminate that option, I need to send my naval officer to scout the area for us, because uh, if uh, Poland has like frigates, it's going to complicate things here. Uh, I will not be able to scout with my air security fighters or patrol with my AWACS and even my helicopters might get a slight damage there. So I do not want to lose casualties during this war because I need to keep my armies intact for the upcoming uh, missions and the upcoming, of course, wars. Uh, this needs to be uh, conquered safely and with, uh, cautiously of course yeah there is some units there in Gdansk hard targets there because AWAX they do not see infantry so if we detect a land radar in Gdansk that is 100% a hard target maybe a division tank division or weaken division or something like that Warsaw the capital is empty look at that it's totally broken. I do not know who actually destroyed his capital, maybe France, because Poland was at war with France before my invasion. And yeah, Europe is chaotic now. Like, Europe is under flames. Oh yeah, another uh, land raider in Krakowia. Okay, my rotary wing officer is going to take care of all of them. Furthermore, that now we have the upper hand as our motorized infantry that are level 6 and you have the attack uh, range that would be extremely useful versus hard targets especially. Look at that, a combination of a hard target and infantry. So yeah, we are going to expect some tank divisions there. The good thing, no support units. That means no ontia or no artilleries. Another land radar in the center of uh, Poland near the sea between Szczecin and Gdansk. Of course, uh, as soon as we uh, take care of Poland, Scandinavia is going to be our next target. I like to expand in Europe because it's a treasure of resources there. It's a treasure of resources. Now the production is 100% on stealth fighters and multiple rocket launchers. We will be needing as much artillery as possible because we will witness a lot of land warfare and it's going to be extremely important to um, upgrade them fast. We do not know when the Asians they will make their move. So we need to be ready for that. Uh, especially we need to finish our wars in Europe in order to recover our armies to uh, Turkey. We do not want the Asians to attack us while our 
uh, air force is scattered all over the continent so basically we need to keep some units to uh, stall them or to resist any kind of invasion okay Warsaw the capital of Poland has fallen like I said in the beginning of this war it's going it's not going to be that complicated especially now that the Ottoman Empire has a good arsenal is very strong we have the air force we need we have the land units we need so basically he is not going to be um, a bad news for us he's not going to be bad news for us and uh, I really needed to snap him out from the atrocious from the atrocious Romanian expansion in Europe because we are on a race here after all we are on a race here uh, who is going to expand faster is going to have better economy and who has better economy is going to have larger armies we do not want to give our enemies the opportunity to have larger enemies than us that's not wise that's not wise at all this is why I'm also moving as fast as possible. Conquering, uh, conquering lands, annexing cities, and mobilizing armies at the same time. I will try to uh, upgrade my airbase in the city of Tbilisi until level 5 to be able to make the full package of the elite helicopters. I hope that resources is going to be enough for us. I will upgrade the multiple rocket launchers. Later, I will also upgrade my mobile sum launchers. The combination of uh, multi rocket launchers, mobile sum launchers, and above them, uh, the stealth air security fighters is actually whoa, mesmerizing. When you know how to actually uh, control them and operate with them, you will be invincible, believe me. But you need to keep in mind that. Your multi rocket launchers needs to be max level to have the range. Okay, finally, now we started the mobilization of the elite submarines. What is special about the elite submarines, guys? Well, they are stealth. That's the most important thing. They have the range of 50. They have the scouting for 50. So basically, the only thing that reveals stealth, which is the destroyer that reveals stealth submarines, has um, a sight range of 40. So basically here you can attack him from a range of 50 without him seeing you. If you are smart enough, you can kill an entire navy only with the stealth elite submarines. Yeah, yes, they are very important, but they are weak in the high seas. They are very heavy, they lose half of their firepower in uh, high seas, so you should always keep them in shallow waters. Look at that, look at that north of Iran. There is an air contact and more land contacts also. Are the Asians preparing for an invasion? Seeing more land contacts and seeing more air contacts here is very serious matter. So guys, my question for you now, what do we think we should do? Should we continue the expansion in Europe? and and wait or i don't know give it for luck or we should totally go back to uh to to turkey to the capital uh, of the ottoman empire and start preparing for the asians what do you think guys in this situation if you were in, in my place what would you do continue the expansion or come back and prepare for the asians because uh, yeah i have I have an instinct that they are preparing themselves for me and uh, seeing air contacts and land radars even if they are only radars even if that's only an AWAC and they are just having a vision on their borders is still a threat is still a potential threat and we should never uh, uh, we should never believe them like we should never trust them okay boys we are at the end of today's episode Let's meet in the next one and find out the intentions of the Asians. Bye bye.